Welcome back. I want to continue sharing with you uh, some of the main differences uh, between the Vedic system of astrology and what has become known as the Western system of astrology. Uh, in the last video, we spoke about the difference between the tropical and sidereal zodiac. We're going to talk this week about uh, the different types of charts that are used in Vedic astrology. So for those of you who have had your Western astrological chart done, you've probably seen something that looks a little bit like what we're seeing on the screen over here to the left, which is the round uh, pie chart, so to speak. Uh, this is actually a transit chart, but this was the only way I could uh, bring up a circular chart. Well, there is another way, but I, I just preferred to do it this way because it's simpler. Um, so if you have had your chart done by someone who is working with the Western system of astrology, you've likely seen a chart that is somewhat similar to this. I know some of you are not perhaps familiar with what the ascendant is. That's going to come uh, later on in your uh, studies. But in explaining that briefly, it is most people come to call the rising sign. In Vedic astrology, we call that the lagna. So when we look at this round chart, the ascendant is right over here on the left at the nine o'clock position if you were looking at a clock. And that's generally the way the Western astrological chart is constructed. There are two types of uh, Vedic astrology charts that are most commonly used. And those are the South Indian and the North Indian chart. And we're going to explain a little bit about each of those to you today. Now, if you're used to the round wheel chart, this is going to look completely radically different <laughs> than anything you've ever seen. I'm going to talk to you first about my favorite which is the South Indian chart. And that's the one that's here on the left with all the square blocks. The way that this is set up is that the signs stay in the same location in the chart. What do I mean by that? Well, here where you see Jupiter and Mars, that's Aries. And that will always be the position that Aries is in, in the South Indian chart. Then next to it will come Taurus, uh, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Those signs will always be in the same place. Now, what moves in the South Indian chart is the ascendant. And the ascendant, again, also called the Lagna in Vedic astrology, is marked by the double lines like you see down here in Virgo. So if we switch back to the transit screen, you'll see the ascendant was here in Virgo. If we go back into the South Indian, North Indian chart, again, you'll see Virgo, but it's here. If I were to move the birth time around, which is what moves the ascendant or the rising sign around, you're going to see that move into different signs, right? As you move the ascendant along over the course of the day, right? There it is in Scorpio. So let's go back to, we can keep that with Scorpio. So that's what the South Indian chart is like. The signs stay in the same position and the ascendant moves. Now that's really great if you're wanting to very quickly be able to locate a sign. And that's what it tends to, uh, to work best for, in addition to something called sign aspects or Rashi aspects, which we'll get into again further on in your training. You don't need to concern yourself with that uh, very much, but I just want to leave a little reminder here so that, you know, for those of you who are studying with me in the Easy Astrology Society, so that a little light comes on further on in your course, and you kind of go, oh, yeah, so he mentioned Rashi aspects or sign aspects before. You can see those very easily in the South Indian chart, which is one of the benefits of it. I'm not going to go more deeply into that, though. Now, the North Indian chart is different. With the North Indian chart, 
the signs don't sit, stay in the same place. Something called the houses, which again, if you're in the Easy Astrology Society, we haven't studied that yet, so I don't expect you to know what that is. But you will remember we spoke about the Ascendant. The Ascendant is the first house. And the Ascendant, also known as the Lagna, also known as the rising sign, always stays in the same place in the North Indian chart, just like it does in the round pie chart. But in this particular instance, that Ascendant is at the very top of the chart in this particular diamond here. That will always be the Ascendant. And then the chart moves uh, counterclockwise with the second house being there, third being there, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Those houses always stay in the same position. Now you may notice these little red numbers. Those mark the number of the sign. Okay, so for instance, the eighth sign is Scorpio. As many people know, the first sign is Aries. That's right down here, right? Where you see Jupiter and Mars over here in Aries, that's now over here. So with the North Indian chart, the houses always stay in the same location, right? And the main difference, well, in addition to the differences I just showed you then, Another difference between those two charts is in most instances with the South Indian chart, it's read in a clockwise manner. So the chart will move around this way. Whereas with the North Indian chart, it's counterclockwise. Okay. So that's just to give you a brief idea of the main differences in the charts uh, from uh, Vedic astrology to Western astrology. We have the square chart, which is the South Indian chart. We have the diamond chart, which is the North Indian chart. A lot of times when people first come to Vedic astrology, they gravitate towards the North Indian chart. I like to train my students to really become acclimated to the South Indian chart, because in my opinion, it is a more flexible chart for you to work with. It's just difficult for people to get used to it because of the ascendant moving around in it. But if you, if you do acclimate yourself to it, I think that you will likely find it's a better chart too. But the preference is really up to the individual. So thanks a lot for watching this brief video on the differences between uh, the charts that we use in Vedic astrology and the regular round uh, Western pie chart that is used. Thanks a lot. Talk to you next time.